you people who watch my videos and don't watch the ads i mean why, why are you doing that sir? <laughs> Hello friends, this is the Gems of the Gems TV. Thank you for stopping by and you're welcome. So in today's video, I'll be talking about some things in Ghana that I am not yet used to. Okay, the truth is, I do them, yeah, but sometimes I still find myself thinking, uh, why is this thing like this? Uh, why is this thing like that? Because there's nothing wrong with them, okay? I'm just here to share with you. I'm just pointing them out because um, there are things I didn't know before coming here, okay? So for those of you who do not know, I'm Nigerian. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is that so I'll tell you the new things I've learned and the things I knew before, okay? I noticed that pork, right? The meat of pig. <laughs> I noticed that pork is not a big deal here at all. You can find pork any and everywhere. On the streets, you can find pork meat when you go to the abattoir. You know, pork is generally a delicacy here. So where I'm coming from, uh, it's not very common. Although I've eaten pork, not once, but it's not something you see everywhere, okay? So that's one luxury I enjoy here in Ghana, okay? Back home, the only way I get to eat or taste or have a feel of pork is when I eat maybe bacon or when I eat maybe sausages or something like that. <laughs> this one is funny for those of you who do not know. I'm laughing because I just I was going to speak without even explaining, but I just realized that not everyone on my channel is African, okay? So um, it will be right for me to explain. So there's something we call sachet water here in Ghana. Uh, Ghanaians call it pure, so if you want to get one, you say I want to buy pure. In Nigeria, we call it pure water. So I noticed that here, the bag of sachet water has 30 pieces in it, while back home we have 20 pieces. It's not a big difference, but <laughs> one day I think I went to buy one, and then I was I carried it, and I realized that ah, this thing is heavy now. Why? What's going on? And it was then I now took note of the fact that it had. 30 pieces of um, sachet water. Yeah, it's interesting to note hawkers here, that street hawkers, they wear socks whilst hawking. Okay, I've still not, you know, taken out my time to ask a hawker. Maybe I'll do that and, you know, get more information. But I was told that the reason they do it is because they don't want their feet to be dirty. And I find that quite interesting, you know. Uh, you see different colors of socks. It's really, really interesting if you maybe see them um, in a marketplace or something. Different things, somewhere it's with trainers, somewhere it's with slippers, different, however you want to wear it. So, see, where I'm coming from, you have to put your bare feet like that. Nothing. But of course, you know, by the time you're done with the day's work, my goodness, your feet will be black. <laughs> Literally, be very black, very, very dirty. So, yeah, I think that's what the Ghanaians are trying to avoid. So for those of you who have been to Nigeria, maybe you've gone to the Nigerian markets, okay? I'm sure you can relate to what I'm about to say. So you know when you go to the market back home in Nigeria and you go to get a pair of socks, let's use socks because we just finished talking about socks, okay? So you go there and maybe the trader tells you the socks go for, the pair of socks go for maybe 150 Naira. And you tell him no, I'm going to pay 120. And the trader tells you no, it's 150 last. That's the last price. And you walk away. Usually what happens is that for the most part, out of maybe 10 traders, at least if I am being as accurate as possible, at least six of those 10 traders will call you back. Okay, they will call you back. In fact, some of them will come and drag your hand and say, Oh, yeah, come now, yeah, come. Come, you yeah, give me 130. You say, no, 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 I'm paying 120. <laughs> Eventually, you settle for the 120. But here, my beloved country, Ghana, <laughs> no one's gonna call you back, okay? No one will call you back. <laughs> for the most part, you know, out of 10, maybe three or four will call you back. If you go, you go. <laughs> to be honest, they are not going to stress themselves to call you back. 
okay so that's one thing that oh not that i do it often but i'm just saying that you know when you really want something but maybe you can't afford it you're trying to you know cut costs or something back home the, you are likely to get the item but here if you're not you know saying the language they understand that's the price they understand they will just not say anything to you go you even look back that auntie you know call me <laughs> won't you call me they won't call you actually not every one of them will call you many times i found myself going back i look oh this one's not going to call me so i just go back and get it okay but if you have the energy you can go around and you can get it cheaper maybe some other place but for the most part <laughs> just stay there and buy bargain well and hopefully you get a good price so this one I'm a culprit okay I think I'm beginning to like it I don't do it very often but um, when I feel like I do it and that's buying Koswa that's uh, yeah I got the pronunciation I think so <laughs> that's Koswa Koswa is egg in Ghana so though you know I showed you a video where I tried street snacks I'll leave the link in the description so for those of you who haven't seen the video yet now in Ghana they hawk boiled eggs right now when you buy it they'll cut it into two and they'll put maybe some onions and put some pepper either red pepper or green pepper whatever mixture the hawker has at that point in time so they'll put it and you just eat it now each time I see them hawking egg, I still think to myself, how am I sitting down and buying egg? I mean, <laughs> why am I buying boiled egg? Usually back home, you see people, ah, do people really hawk eggs? Um, maybe when they are selling, if they are selling food alongside, maybe you see boiled eggs, but hardly, it's not something you find regularly, someone hawking eggs, even if, at all at all even if they are to hawk eggs it's just going to be the regular eggs you're not going to see salt on it like what you find here in ghana just regular boiled eggs you buy it and go and crack it and eat it here but here in ghana they'll take their time crack it for you cut it open and put the pepper i think the pepper and the onions are the highlight of the whole egg because i mean it's just egg but the spice you know the seasoning and everything they put in the pepper that's if they put any and all of that so it makes it really delicious and uh palatable for those people who maybe are not fans of eggs and all of that but yeah i think i like the idea <laughs> that's what changed us to you you know and that's what a new environment does to you you just have to adjust whatever you find there you know and have a good time this particular one i like it so much i love it so much <laughs> and that is roasted yeah but unfortunately i've only tried it once in ghana and that was when i was making the street snack video now the reason i don't buy it in ghana is because um they don't have some kind of sauce to go along with it maybe it's the ones i've seen or let me know in the comment section that's why you are here you know to tell me if it is so or not okay so i noticed the um the one in ghana here they would roast yam right and maybe they would serve it with um kobe that salty fish and that's it but in nigeria it is a whole meal <laughs> you guys it's a whole meal when you buy roasted yam right they're going to put some nice sauce the sauce will have tomatoes the regular sauce you make in your house with onions and sometimes some even put wele wele is also pomo pomo is also cow skin for those of you who i wonder what i'm saying put some cow skin they put some um fish if you want either um the round um smoked fish or some put just some boiled fish you know it's really nice or fried fish depending it's a whole meal so when you eat it you just chill you know with some nice cold drink you just chill and be fine you'll be all right so i think that's something i've not really gotten myself to try a lot here because i feel it's too dry i'm just chewing on dry yam dry roasted yam and then i'm eating it with fish it's nice but i mean i i would like if there was some kind of you know sauce that can go along with it so that it's not too too dry 
This other one, hmm, I've seen quite a number of people talk about it, especially people who are in Ghanaians. And this one is, you know, here in Ghana and in Nigeria as well, I don't know if other West African countries do it, but there's something we call roasted corn, right? Roasted corn or boiled corn, right? These are very, very, very common street foods you can find anywhere. As far as you know, it's, it's the corn season. So here in Ghana, right? When you buy your boiled corn, there's the option of dipping the boiled corn inside salty water, okay? Just water that they added salt in it, and, and then you have your that's your coconut. <laughs> I've still not tried it, yo. I've still not tried it. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> to be honest, let me know. Convince me in the comment section. Convince me to try it. I'll be definitely winning too if you give me enough reasons to. <laughs> okay, that same goes for the roasted corn. When you buy it, you have the option of dipping it in the salty water. I honestly have not tried it either, but Nigeria, on the other hand, for the most part, I don't think they boil the corn in salty water. But there's no option of, you know, dipping it inside salt water or not. Just buy your corn and your coconut and you go home. That option is not there at all. And so, we're, yeah, seeing it here was kind of, you know, surprising because I'm like, mm, mm, that salty water idea. I heard it's nice, so I heard it's nice, but. I haven't tried it yet. That's something I haven't tried yet. But oh, I buy corn a lot. I do, but I haven't tried that salt water part of it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was supposed to be a chill video, you know, just laughing and um, sharing some of my experiences with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you did, kindly do what I said at the beginning, which is like, subscribe, share the video, leave a comment, and please let me know what you think on. All of these things I've said if you have nice suggestions for me on what to try or what not to try let me know in the comment section right and I'll see you in my next one bye